Tokyo Revengers is the thrilling story of a young man, Takemichi, who time slips and gets involved with the Bosozoku, which is Japanese for a group of young delinquents. That group is called Toman. Now, where does that name come from? What's the meaning behind it? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. Let's have a look together. All right, so the Tolman gang, how did that name came to be and what is the actual meaning behind it? Now here uh, to start off, I've taken a picture from the anime uh, for change. Usually I take the manga as a, as a basis, but I thought this was a really nice shot from the anime where we can see the founding members together when they were uh, a bit younger still. And you see the, the, their first flag uh, with the name of their, uh, of their team written on it and the first time they wear their uniforms. Now, Tolman, where does the name come from? Well, first of all, we need to look or have a deeper look at the founding members because um, that's going to be an important part as to why they are called Tolman. Now, here we have all six of them taken from the manga uh, in a row and we're going to go through them. I've written down all the names. Number one is the leader, of course, Mikey. Mikey is a nickname. His actual name is Sano Manjiro. Now, this will be important. Please keep this in mind. Now, Manjiro is his first name. Sano is his family name. Next, to his left, we have number two, Draken, which is also uh, a nickname. And his actual name is Ryuguji Ken. Now, these things we get to know throughout the story. Uh, third one on his other side, on the right side on the picture, is Mitsuya, Mitsuya Takeshi, often referred to as Mitsuya. And to his side, all the way to the right side, we have number four, Hayashida Haruki, also better known as Pachin. Now, they will often call each other by nicknames, less their actual name. Uh, on the other side, we have two close friends, uh, Hanemiya Kazutora and Baji Keske. Now, uh, Baji is actually um, his nickname as well, but written a little bit differently uh, in Katakana then and not in Kanji. So not written as his original name is written, but in a, in a, a writing system that doesn't carry any meaning, whereas the other characters carry a certain meaning. So these are the six founding members. Very important to note is that Mikey's actual first name is Manjiro. Now, how does it all does it all play out? So there, at, at some point in the story, before the formation of the actual gang, uh, the actual Toman, they were having a race. So Patien was uh, challenging the other members to race towards a certain Buddhist temple. First one to get their wins, and the name of the temple I've written it down here is. Musashi Jinja. Now, fun fact, this is actually an existing temple. Uh, I've added a picture as well in Tokyo. And um, I think the author took uh, inspiration from that temple. So anyway, they rush there and you see them all gathered together there uh, at the temple, hanging out and talking. The fact that it is this specific temple isn't of importance. What is of importance is the fact that they are at the Buddhist temple. We'll get to that in a minute. So they're having a discussion there and eventually it turns out that one of their friends, because they're not a gang, an actual gang yet, one of their friends, Kazutara namely, is, uh, is being bullied by an actual gang, uh, the Black Dragons. Now, of course, he was trying to hide that fact from his other friends, but uh, they find out and they say, look, you don't need to hide that fact. We want to protect you. We're friends. We stand up for each other. But from there, they make the reflection that, while well, they can't just throw down with that gang. So they say, maybe we should create our own gang, the six of us, and then it will be one gang challenging another gang, like, like a turf war. Then they have an actual reason, an actual way in which they can confront and challenge that, those black dragons, that other gang. So from there comes the idea that they want to form a gang. A bosozaku. And there are certain unwritten rules in the bosozaku world, in the world of uh, these Japanese young 
uh, delinquent groups, uh, I would call them. We call them bosozoku in Japanese. Uh, one of those rules is that, well, they can challenge each other for for turf war for to see who is boss in which in which area or which streets. So uh, from there comes that that idea. And what they need then still is a name. So they're going to make form their group and they need a name. And since Mikey is going to be the leader, they already decided on that because he's a, an incredibly good fighter and also very charismatic. He says, well, maybe, I, or I already have an idea, he says, we'll call our gang Tokyo Manjiro Kai. Now, I split it up, what it means. Tokyo is, of course, Tokyo, the city of Tokyo, so the area where they are active. Manjiro is Mikey's actual first name. And Kai, usually this is written with a different character, but in the world of Bosozaku, of young delinquents, they will often use different kinds of kanji. Uh, to convey a certain a certain meaning. So Kai means uh, gathering or group. So when you add it all together, it actually means Manjiro's Tokyo Gang. That would be the, the best English trans translation I, I could uh, could give to it. Now the reaction of his friends or, or his uh, his new teammates, I, I can call them now, uh, is a dase, which actually means it's, it's young people talk, uh, slang a little bit. Uh, to say how lame, uh, so they really don't don't uh, don't like the name he uh, he found for their gang. But the original idea was Tokyo Manjiro Kai. So there already we have the man in the name. Now from there the the discussion continues amongst them. We don't see that in the manga, but we see it uh, more explicitly in the anime. So that's kind of interesting. A little bit of a difference. I didn't read exactly that transition from one name to the next in the manga but in the anime we do we do get that so we start from tokyo manjiro kai manjiro's tokyo gang and what they actually did is they said instead of using manjiro and that was actually Baji's idea instead of using manjiro we can use manji and uh, here you see how it's written in japanese you have manjiro the name of mikey is his actual name and then you have that changed into Manji. Now, I know a lot of Western people mistake this character for uh, a symbol, uh, a swastika symbol uh, used by the Nazis, but it is not. If you look clearly, if you look closely, it is straight and not slanted as a swastika is, and it's reversed. Uh, this is a character that has been around for roughly 2000 years in uh, Chinese and, and Japanese culture uh, long before the Nazis uh, created their own symbol or in a sense appropriated the symbol and changed it a little bit and it is actually a virtuous uh, it has a virtuous meaning it the character means uh, happiness flowing from Buddhism you cannot translate it exactly I I, I give it that connotation what you need to remember is this is a, when you see this character it is closely related to japanese buddhism on maps in japan you will often see that character uh, and when you see that character on a map it means that there's a buddhist temple there uh, quite interesting that um, they that, that this this character this kanji is very closely related to uh, to Buddhism and I think that it, it, it's used in various ways within Buddhist context and within Buddhist prayers but the closest meaning I could attribute to it is happiness flowing forth from Buddhism I think that's the best way I, I can I can put an, an English meaning or attribute an English meaning to it so they change the character that way and that makes sense because where are they they are at a Buddhist temple so that's where the character actually comes from. The man was originally man from Manjiro, but they changed it into Manji uh, because they were at the Buddhist temple. And there they bought an omamori, which is like a, a good luck charm for, uh, to, to protect the group. And uh, in Japan, you have that. You can buy that at Buddhist temples, all kinds of omamori for specific things, to study well, to be successful in life, for good health. And here specifically, they buy one for uh, being protected in traffic. 
since they are a biker gang, since they, they, they ride bi bikes and they race, they, they thought it, uh, it, it appropriate to get that kind of omamori. So in that sense, it really makes sense that they change the name into Manji, closely connected to uh, the Buddhist temple, where the group was actually formed. So from there we get Tokyo Manjikai. And you see, we're starting to get closer to the original word, the original meaning. This is also the reason that the character Manji uh, features prominently on their uniforms and the flag of their team. Now, I've noticed, I watched the original, I read the original Japanese manga, I uh, watched the original Japanese anime as it is aired in Japan. Uh, I've read and I've noticed and heard that uh, that character has been uh, scrapped, has been censored in uh, the, the, the foreign edition of the anime. I think it's because they, they don't expect people to actually know the, the real meaning behind this character. And this could cause some confusion with people who, uh, who, um, who would identify the character with, with, uh, with, with the swastika. Um, which is a pity in my opinion. I don't like censorship. I don't like changing stories. I think they should just put a little note, maybe, uh, before airing the episode, like, look, this character will appear. This is the meaning behind the character. It doesn't have anything to do with the swastika. And uh, let's go. Let's air the episode the way it is without all that censorship. Because uh, they really had to edit a lot of images to get that character out of the uniforms, out of the flag, out of the bikes, because it's painted on their bikes as well. Uh, but just, just so you know, this has nothing to do with Nazism or swastikas. This has this is a character that is closely related to Buddhism. Okay, so we're at Tokyo Manjikai. And Japanese will often contract words, especially young people. They like doing that. For example, uh, a loan word, an old loan word uh, from, that, I, that I used to study is... Um, a word processor, now we don't use that anymore, but uh, back in the day when I was a student, wapuro sesa, they would shorten it to wapuro. So they often do that in Japanese where they will contract uh, names of shops as well. Uh, Makudonaldo, like, well, we do that as well, Makdo, right? We, we, we shorten it. So here they will shorten their, their um, the name of their bosozoku, their, their gang, to Toman. The to from Tokyo, which means Eastern, actually, and the man from Manji, from the, the Buddhist uh, temple or the Buddhist uh, connection they have or connection with the Buddhist temple. So in that way, we get Toman. So this is how the name actually came to be. So we started out with uh, Manjiro's gang, Mikey's gang. We went from there to the Buddhist connotation, uh, because that's where the group was formed, and then eventually they shortened it to Toman. Now, everybody often refers to it as Toman. In the manga, it will often be written, as I have shown now, Toman in Katakana, as you can see next to the, to the kanji, it's written in Katakana there. Uh, that's purely a stylistic choice, um, probably indicating that they're just using that name that shortened name without really thinking about the, the original meaning or the original context from where the name came. Uh, but this is the, actually the way the, the name was formed. So I thought that was quite interesting. Now, while we're on the topic, a little bit more about that Manji character, because I, I find that very interesting and, and useful to explain to people who are perhaps less well versed with Japanese culture and especially Japanese Buddhism. It's a character you can find all, the, all throughout Japan, as I said. And here I've taken a, a couple of examples, but there are plenty more, where you can see that character in, uh, in temples, in Buddhist temples, uh, often engraved in wooden doors. Uh, very old sculptures will also uh, have that symbol on them. At times, uh, I'm thinking of uh, bells, bells that are uh, bronze bells that are used to, to um, uh, in Buddhist prayers and ceremonies. They will sometimes have that character engraved on it. Uh, so it's not a, a recent thing. It's it's really something that has been around for, I would say, approximately almost two thousand years. 
uh, you can find it through, uh, throughout Japan in various temples. And as you can see on street signs as well. So here they, they put the name of the, of the temple and then next to it they put that symbol indicating this is a Buddhist temple uh, where, in that direction. Uh, on maps as well we, we can see that. Also interesting to note is that the character is not limited to Tokyo Revengers. People who like Bleach will probably, and know the original Japanese context, will probably recognize it from the word Bankai. Now Bankai, as you can see, that is the exact same character because Manji can also be pronounced Ban and Kai means to release, to let go. So Bankai actually means you release your full potential, you release your 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 uh, your true form in in this sense it's more in a spiritual sense that you need to look at it you release your your spiritual true self and that is actually what we have in bleach when they say bankai so each time you see or hear bankai actually in the original japanese manga that same character was present there so uh, i thought since we're talking about the name of toman anyway i thought it was worthwhile to also have a look at this character and explain uh, to manga and anime fans uh, who perhaps don't know this yet that uh, this is the origin of the character and this is the meaning of the character so that was a little bit of extra information uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, hope you learned something useful, if you did please leave a like on the video, leave a comment, uh, if you want to know more things, if you want to ask me more things about Tokyo Revengers, Bleach or whatever, please don't hesitate to, uh, to hit me up either in the comments, Twitter, Facebook, uh, I'll, I will do, try my best to reply to all the questions that are asked. And please do share the video out uh, if, if you found it useful, if you found this interesting, then please share it with other fans. And I hope to catch you guys at the next one. Take care. Jane. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tap the notification bell and sound off in the comments. And hey, while you're here, why not check out another video?